Tonight, a 14-year-old is looking at spending most of his life in prison. And a mother from Park Heights will never see her 15-year-old son again, who police say the 14-year-old killed. Now, we're not going to say the 14-year-old's name because he is just a juvenile. But the victim's mother definitely has a message for him. WMER 2 News' Eddie Kadem joins us from a Baltimore City Police Headquarters with a story that you'll only see here on WMER 2 News. So, Eddie, it sounds like this was a stemming from an argument and then leading us to yet another tragedy. Yeah, that's right, Kelly. And, of course, there's no reason for anything to lead to something like this. And at 15 years old, Jaleel Jones is going to be buried by his mother and she's furious at the world for that but at the same time she's sad for the mother of this 14 year old that killed her son and for that 14 year old himself and she hopes that someday he's able to turn his life around he was not a, a bully in the streets he was not a drug dealer he was not a school dropout he was a fun loving caring 15 year old jaleel was a kid on the right path he shook hands with the mayor and police commissioner, and he was a part of community cleanups with Safe Streets. He wanted to be a nurse. He was going to start the nursing program at Carver next year. He, he wanted to help people. Police say Jaleel was shot in the head on Thursday by a 14-year-old boy after an argument. Police arrested the 14-year-old. He's charged with first-degree murder. His mother said the teen who shot him wasn't his friend and that he hardly knew him. As mad as I am that he took my son's life, I feel bad for him also and i just want him and wish him to get some help for whatever he's going through to make him feel like he should be able to take lives marcus dent is jaleel's uncle and he was getting ready to coach his baseball team ja was really a leader um he frequently attended a lot of the events that we did with the police department uh he always helped out with our easter egg hunts and uh our turkey drives and our breakfast with santa the entire neighborhood is rallying around the family love on each other Respect each other's life. Do not take a temporary situation and use a permanent solution like murder. That is cowardly, and that is something that should not be going on in our city. But we are all tired of coming together after the trigger is pulled. They need more for people to get on the news and say, oh, he was a killer, he was a robber, he was a... Help them. Help these kids. And maybe it, the city will turn around. Jaleel has five siblings, including a 14-year-old little brother, and the 14-year-old that shot him will be in court in two weeks. Live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters tonight, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.